Hi, and welcome back to the Washington County Public Schools Video Repository. We're going to continue our sessions on Facebook today. What we want to talk about today are your friends. We all have them. <laughs> we have friends that come into our lives and friends that leave our lives. And it is the same way on Facebook. I want to first show you how to tell how many friends you have. You can do that by going to your page. Clicking, you actually don't even have to click on it anymore. It tells you right here that I have 979 friends. I want to see who they are. I can simply click on it and it will show me all of my friends. Here they come. Uh, when they do that, they are in no particular order. You will find them uh, not alphabetized. I've often wondered how they pop in here. And looking at them, it seems to me that it's the people I communicate with the most are at the top. I don't know that for sure, but that is my guess on it. All right, so how do you find friends? Well, if you notice, while I'm on my friends page, I do have a button that says, by friends. I also have one that says friend requests. So if I want to see who my requests are, people who want to be my friends, I can click on that and I'll see the list of people who want to be my friend. From here I can either confirm it or I can delete the request. Okay. What I want to do now is I want to look on find friends and what it is going to do, in addition to showing me those people who have requested me, it gives me people I may know. Okay, and these are people that are friends with your friends. So Anthony Wolf, I know I went to school with him um, and graduated a couple of years after him. If I wanted to add him as my friend, I'd click it, simply click Add Friends. Okay, it's a pretty easy way to do that. Another way you can do it is to search Facebook. So let's say I want to find um, Kathy Moats. There she is, Washington County Board of Ed. If I want to, I can add her from here by clicking Add Friend. I can hit my down arrow. I can send her a message or a photo that look at her interests and her friends. I can also go to her page, and I can add her as a friend from here. Okay. Other ways that you can find friends are to look at your friends' friends. So I am going to go to Amber Madigan. And I want to see who Amber is friends with. Here comes Amber's page. I'm going to click on Amber's friends here. It tells me that we have 17 of the same friends on Facebook. The first thing it's going to do is show me my mutual friends on here. And then once we get past that, it starts telling me to add friends. So as I go down, I can add friends of hers, people that I might know that I would like to be friends with on Facebook. So I'm going to pick one of her friends and I'm going to add, ooh, this is a tough call, um, James Funkhauser. Okay, so I'd simply click add friend. And James has now been sent a request that he will get, and he can either confirm my friendship or he can turn it down. Okay, other things you might want to do are look for organizations or apps that you use frequently. So let's say that I use Skitch frequently. Okay, Skitch is a great app, so I'm going to click on their page. And it's set up as a group, so I can like this group. And now I'll be able to go down, and I will be able to see the posts that they have about Skitch. At the top, it also says, hey, you might also like these apps. Let's try that again. Let's go back to Skitch. Okay, I haven't liked it. There we go. These are some other apps that have pages on here that I might like. So I could go through if I wanted to and like pages right from here. Another thing people like to do is go with the educational journals. Okay, So let's say that you wanted to 
find the tech for teachers. There it is. Okay. So I want to join this group. All I simply do is hit like, and then I can go down, check out their page, and it also wants me to invite other people, people to like their page. Don't you love this? So I can also go down and take a look at any posts they have and see if there's anybody else I might want to add for teachers. Okay. Something else we can do is we can go through our friends at some point and we can kind of weed them out. Sometimes friends leave our lives or we decide that we don't want to follow a group anymore. So you might need to take some out. You can do this a couple of different ways. If you want to delete them and get rid of them all together, that's called unfriending. To unfriend, the easiest thing to do is to go to your page, click on your friends, saying that there's somebody I do not want to be friends with anymore. I could click next to their name. This is difficult. Nobody tell on me for this. If I delete someone you know, because I will add them back. So let's say that I want to uh, delete my friend Bridget. All I need to do is click, actually just hover above the right arrow next to where it says friends, and I could come down and click the unfriend button. If I unfriend Bridget, I'm not going to be able to see her posts, and I'm not going to be able to go to her page and look at her pictures anymore. So do keep that in mind. If Bridget and I get were to have lost touch and then we get back together and I want to be her friend again, I would actually have to send her a new friend request. Okay, you can also do, do what is called unfollow someone. So let's say you're in Facebook and let's say you have some friends that you don't want to see their posts anymore. They're acquaintances more than they are friends. You don't want to see their posts anymore. You can simply, right next to their name where they have a post, click on the down arrow, and you can, well, I could just hide that post, but I could unfollow Amanda here. If you unfollow someone, you're still friends with them, but their posts are not going to show up on your news feed anymore. Okay, so you'll have less stuff showing up on there. Just as a side note, you can also turn off notifications for a post here. This means, let's say you commented on somebody's status and 55 other people commented on it, the same status. Every time somebody comments, a notification pops up at the top of Facebook. You don't want those notifications to come through anymore. You can just say, turn off notifications for this post. Okay, you can still see the post if you just don't get the updates up here. Okay, so to recap, we talked about finding friends on Facebook, looking for other educators or magazines or organizations that might help you. We've talked about deleting friends, and we've talked about unfollowing friends. Um, we will leave it with, if I go back up to my friend request at the top, I can see that somebody has accepted my friend request, and wow, this is interesting. A friend request from General James Bucknell. Um, I really don't think he's sending me a friend request. It's probably um, an account that was set up in his name. So be careful. When you're looking to accept friend requests, I would suggest that you ensure that you do know them before you just accept it. And if you're not sure, just delete the request. And if it has somebody that's a mutual friend and you don't recognize them, Contact a mutual friend and see if indeed this is somebody you should be friends with. All right, well, I appreciate you tuning in today and learning a little bit more about Facebook. We'll see you on our next meeting where we will talk about posts. Thanks for joining us.